Where are you going? I'm just going to the toilet quick. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. <laughs>to electricity of course and as you can see in the background here Marek's busy setting up some solar panels this is the way that Drew um, stores up some electricity 
um, charges up his power banks using solar panels. That way he can charge his phone and have some electricity stored for some lights and those sort of things in the house, like small little light bulbs. So that's the end of our first day. Although we've only been here for a matter of hours, it's just so amazing really to see just what it takes to live this type of lifestyle. Just the daily challenges and tasks that one has to undertake is just incredible. And one that most people in modern society wouldn't even know where to begin. But anyway, we have a massive cold front moving in. We have just seen it coming over the mountains and we'll try to get a nice picture for you guys. But we're gonna go inside, take all the firewood that we chopped down tonight and stoke the fireplace. We're going to prepare ourselves for a very long and cold night ahead. Yo! Good morning guys. Yo, last night was freezing and it's still really cold this morning. It's like 25 to 10 and it's literally zero degrees Celsius out here. So <laughs> let's get started with our day and get some blood pumping. <laughs> One of the special tasks that we have to undertake while we're here is to help to replant some of these trees into these two tractor types. And the importance of doing this in the morning is that if you do it in the evening, this is what happens to the water in the roots. They freeze because it's just so cold. <laughs> So the whole concept of living off the grid means that you are basically living off of the grid. You have no electricity, you have no plumbing. And no plumbing means no toilet. So the first order of business as soon as we arrived was to go and dig ourselves a toilet. So the day is drawing to an end. It's been a really beautiful day today. The weather has been lovely and even though it's been quite cold, it hasn't been windy, so that's a plus. But as the sun starts to go down, it starts to get more and more chilly. So we're building a bonfire, hopefully huddle around there and get some warmth from that. But we're really interested to ask Drew what kind of person it takes to live this kind of lifestyle. I think the sort of things that help a person thrive living a lifestyle like this is being happy to get dirty, being willing to live in uncomfortable positions and uncomfortable situations. You need to have a lot of self-discipline and self-drive because your firewood's not gonna chop itself and your fireplace is not gonna clean itself. Uh, you need to be willing to put the work in. And for me personally, I'd rather live this way, digging my own toilets, having to shower when it's cold, than live in the city and earn money to pay for those comforts because rather than wasting my time earning money, to buy comfort, I can use my time and my energy to provide the comforts that I've pushed for. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. So that's the end of our day. We've worked hard, but we've really enjoyed ourselves. It's time just to go and sit around the bonfire and take it all in. We'll see you back again in the morning.
morning guys. It's our final day here and we've been treated to some proper cold rosetta weather. It's currently minus 9 degrees and if you want to see what minus 9 looks like, the cabin is busy frosting up. We left some water outside last night and it is now completely frozen. But we've got a couple of tasks left for the day, so let's get cracking. So there's literally frost on the ground, on the cabin, on these little leaves on the ground. Just little icicles and frost everywhere. <laughs> So our main task for the day, or rather for our time here, is to help Drew with the setting up of his Jojo tank. Because he's got no plumbing, this is how Drew used to have to fetch water before. So although the Jojo tank will be set up, he still won't connect the plumbing from the Jojo to his house. He still enjoys the effort of having to fetch water, but just having the Jojo on his land will save him the effort of having to phone his friends up, go to the town hall, take his five litres and go and fill it every time. But let's get into a bit of digging. So as our visit with Drew draws to an end, we're wondering to ourselves how far in the future he sees himself living this way. Well, not too long in the future, I'm hoping to get some running water brought to the land. Uh, and with that, obviously, get some plumbing, hot shower, flushing toilet, fence off the property. Once those things are done, I will start work on a bit of a family house up towards the top of the land. Hopefully I can bump into a wild woman who's willing to share in the adventure from here. And over the next couple, one year to three years, there's a couple of adventures that I will be using this place as a base to head out and achieve some hopefully never done, never been done before trips from. So we'll be leaving to head home in the next few minutes and we've really enjoyed this experience. It's been so eye-opening to learn what it takes to live day to day off the grid. We're just so grateful to Drew for letting us come to stay with him. Uh, something really interesting that he said to us in the last few days is that he's not lucky to be here. He worked really hard and chased his dreams, took some major risks to get where he is today and he loves the life that he lives. He's really given us a lot to think about. So one of the profound things that he said during this trip is that life is a journey and death is a destination. So don't be afraid to take that next big step, no matter how risky or scary it may seem. Live life to the fullest. But it's with these words that we close. We'll see you guys back again next week Friday. That's one of the unusual things we're going to do. You've got to kind of coordinate your toilet trips with the weather. Whereas at home you can just be like, oh, I need the loo. I'm going to go right now. Whereas here it's like, I need the loo. It might rain this afternoon. I better go right now. Or let me not eat all this chocolate because it's raining for the whole day and I don't want to have to go and have a big fat Porsche later. <laughs> <laughs>